Welcome to Emilac Online Tutorial. Before us, we'll be looking at this topic in mathematics, longitude and latitude. All right, now let's start uh, with this diagram of a circle that depicts the earth. Now, by definition, longitudes are imaginary lines that are drawn from the north down to the south okay so let's say this is the north now this is the south now longitude as i said are imaginary lines drawn from the north and they run through to the south okay and it tends to form a big or a great circle now this Form this great circle like this and let's assume this the center of the earth okay so any line from here from the center drawn to touch any of the longitude is a big R so because this is the center of the circle okay so anywhere from the center to any part is called the great circle okay so all this line here are called the great circles now and if you take a look now the lines drawn are drawn from the north down to the south as i said earlier and their angles are numbered from one degree east to 180 degree east and this is based on the lines drawn on the eastern part uh, this is the eastern part and this is the western part same thing at the western part also the angles are numbered from one degree west this time around to 180 degree west all right so these are just the notable features of the longitude now there are lines that are drawn from the north down to the south okay and they form great radius from the center of the circle okay and their degrees are being numbered from one degree to 180 degree either from the east or from the west all right now that is for longitude now let us move down to latitude also from another circle being drawn now for the latitude now these are imaginary lines also that are being drawn from the west down to the east so let's say this these are its own and that latitude now another one now this one falls at the equator or probably the center of this of the earth itself same thing and it goes on and on take note they also have their own centers now there is a difference between latitude here and this longitude now for every line drawn from the center to either uh, either of this longitude is a great radius right it's a great radius now but for the latitude now the only great radius that we have here is the one that is formed at the center of the earth which is what the big r now the remaining ones are small radius small radius small radius because they form small circles they form small circles okay and take note that the radius differs they are differs right this is two sorry this is three this is what four so they differ so and their angles now take note these are lines as i said that run from the west down to the east and if you take a look 
our angles also because as much as uh, the longitude has its own angle being measured also the same goes for latitude and for latitude the angles are measured from one degree it is from the le, le equator this is the equator and the equator is the la lines of latitude that divide the earth into two equal parts the north and the south so for the angles from the equator to the north is measured from one degree north to 90 degree north and from the equator down to the south is measured one degree south to uh, 90 degree south okay all right now this is just the features of the longitudes and the lines of latitude that is sorry the lines of latitude uh, longitude and the lines of latitude all right now we'll be looking at the relationship between the great radius r and the small radius and let's take note that the great radius r is approximately equals to 6400 kilometer that is 6400 kilometer all right so this now add the features of the long uh, longitude and latitude now let us take a look at the relationship between the big r and the small r having this circle again that represents the earth okay now let's draw the a line of longitude from the north down to the south the north the south the west and the east and let us take another line of latitude uh, from the south here and this is the center of the earth okay and let us draw an imaginary line of the earth axis okay so now this imaginary line also cuts across this point which is at the center of circle uh, center of the earth and also cut across the center of this uh, latitude okay now i uh, will previously said that any line drawn from the center to the any line of lat uh, longitude is a great radius okay and take note taking this point also on the latitude to any point of intersection now take note that the point of intersection of a line of latitude and a line of longitude is the location of any object or any substance okay on the surface of the earth so interception of the line of long, uh, longitude and latitude is the location of any object or a body on the surface of the earth okay now we now observe that this line which seems to be sort of 90 degree because it's a straight line that divides the earth into equal parts the west and the east now this is the radius the small radius of latitude now this is the big radius of longitude now let us take another line from here and pitch here now this radius is the same as this particular radius now the angle formed here let us say alpha now is adjacent to this angle here okay let me just clean this so that now it's adjacent to this angle all right so let us now bring out this triangle out now it's of this form now here is the big radius now the angle and the small radius take note this is 90 degree now how then do we solve this and bring out the relationship between the great radius and the small radius all right at this point you can see that there's a connection between big the big r 
the alpha which is the angle subtended between the two and the small r and taking a look at this triangle you will see it's a right angle triangle and this brings us to uh sokatoa now sokatoa which is the basic acronym for trigonometry ratio all right now with this this line this long line or rather yeah which is the hypotenuse and the line adjacent to the angle here is the adjacent and the line opposite to the angle is given as the opposite now and where we tend to take our relationship from now is the hypotenuse and the adjacent now taking a look at this acronym here we can see the trigonometry sign that connects the hypotenuse and the adjacent is the car so which is car and here you have the cos alpha now equals the adjacent uh, adjacent all over hypotenuse and the adjacent here is the small r and the hypotenuse here is the big r now bringing it out here for so here you have r all over big r so at this point now making the small r the subject of formula we multiply the big r times cos theta so at this end we have that r then equals big r cos theta so at this point now this is uh the relationship between the small r and the big r all right now let us look at how we tend to get or uh, fashion out the distance between uh, two points at the lines of uh, latitude okay all right all right let's have it another diagram of the earth now taking our line take note this is the north the south uh, the east and the west now taking a line of longitude from the north down to the south and let us take this let's say to be uh, 10 10 degree east and another one here and let's take this one to be 50 degree west now on a line of latitude here all right so let's take this to be 60 degree uh south now here now and i said earlier that where the line of longitude and latitude meet is a location so this is a location p let us represent this one as q now from this center here here and here now take note that this is small radius and small radius now taking a look at this take note the line this axis which is uh the center okay now for us to get our angle here what we need to look at here now is now look at this line of uh, uh, longitude here now you can see it is 10 so at this particular point here it all so it implies that the angle here now is 10 degree and likewise as the angle formed here will then be 50 degree now if you bring if you bring this diagram out here it's is in form like this okay so at this point so here you have it okay now the angle here which is 50 and 10 make up to give us 60 all right so here you have p, uh, p and here you have what q all right so at this point here and considering this diagram you will see that it takes 
the shape from the formula that the length of an arc. So, and we know that the length of an arc, L, is theta all over 360 times 2 pi r. Okay? And previously, we come to the conclusion that the relationship between the small r and the big r is giving us r equals big r, now cos alpha. And this alpha here is the angle of uh, the latitude. So if I were to replace the small r here, we tend to have theta all over 360 times 2 pi big R cos alpha. Alright, moving further here, for us to calculate the distance along the latitude, now our theta here, which is the 60, all over 360, now times 2, okay, then let me just make it pi, then times the big R, which is 6400, now times cos alpha, and our alpha here is 60, so here we have cos 60, and cos 60 in itself equals 1 over 2, or 0 0.5. So let us have it 1 over 2, okay? So at this point here, uh, 60 here, 1, 60 here should give us 6, okay? And uh, 2 here, 1, 2 here, 1, okay? And at this point, we end up having, representing pi to be 3.14. So here we have 3.14. 142 times 6400 all over 6 and if we are to punch our calculator so we tend to have so our final answer here will now be 3351.5 approximately <coughs> sorry point five kilometer okay so this is the line between p and q on the line of latitude okay so in my next class we'll be solving questions along the lines of longitude thank you and god bless you